My name is Kathy Small and I'm employed by RDI as a consultant really to help with the leadership training class that Sherwood Trust has sponsored in Walla Walla, Washington. It's been a great opportunity for me. I do a lot of volunteer work in Walla Walla and work with many of the class participants that have come through the various classes. It's a great opportunity for me to give back to the community and help some of our younger as well as older community members become great leaders in the community. My name is Jock Edwards and I'm president of the Sherwood Trust. The Sherwood Trust is a private foundation and it was founded in 1991 by Donna Virginia Sherwood. Our approach starts with investing in people and in particular leaders. So that's why we fund the Community Leadership Program. This is our ninth year we've done this. So there are over 175 graduates out of the Community Leadership Program in the Walla Walla Valley. And that has large ramifications throughout the valley because these people uh, get involved in a myriad of activities and a myriad of nonprofit organizations and community events. It's an opportunity to watch people grow from having little self-confidence and giving up to give a presentation to leading the group. We do that in various ways and it's worked very effectively. The curriculum that RBI has put together is tremendous. It's compact, it's very uh, concise to the point and the activities that they've selected to have us as trainers, facilitators. I call ourselves facilitators, we're really not training, we're using the group and sharing things and going through worksheets so they become better leaders. Everything from how to run a meeting to characteristics of great leaders to what their MBTI, which is a Myers-Briggs preference is, how people work together, one another. And the goal is eventually we'll have so many people in our community that speak the same language, how to get to collaboration. It's just a wonderful curriculum to see people grow. The summary I guess would be I just would say that it's a good visible, simple, Tangible project. A couple practical points about it that I really like. Um, one, it's, it's not contingent on anything unknown. Um, it's not, we don't need any legislative change. The reason that I really do believe, and we talked about this in some of the groups, but I do believe Curve and Edith Perry can be a combination project. Uh, at different community parks, there isn't a whole lot of shading um, in really sunny areas, and it does offer the educational. I think it's great. Um, I've seen it in other places. Mm -hmm. And it does, it, it does bring out the um, uniqueness of the community. And I think that just because that want is so uh, throbbing right now, uh, that's just, it's, it'd be really cool if we could just fulfill that desire. I think it involves everyone on, in a physical aspect, plus there's opportunity for everyone to still have input in this project. Because um, my second choice would be Curve, and that would be bring it to Are breaking the standards and we are pushing ourselves. Well, the question, one question that you might ask is can this be duplicated in other communities? And the answer is sure, but it has to be done thoughtfully, it has to be done from the ground up, from the grassroots up, uh, and it has to go slowly, organically. It can't work if somebody comes in from the top down and says, let's do these improvements in this part 
to help the native. That won't work. So if the inspiration comes from, from the people living in the neighborhood who uh, want to take a, uh, a sense of, of ownership of what's going on in their neighborhood. And once you start that, um, and once the ball starts gradually building speed, then it's, uh, you just have to get out of its way because this works. This works in all kinds of neighborhoods and it couldn't be done without the combination of, of two important components. One is the neighborhood residents taking the initiative and then bringing somebody in to add that component, that magic component of working with neighbors to build something that they want and see in their future.